This is trash. What is up? Welcome to Cutting Up. I'm your host, Mac, and you saw the title of this one. So let's get straight into it. This is going to be an unboxing and a review of the King C Gillette series neck razor. Now, the first thing that we're going to have to get over is the fact that this is intended to be used pretty much only on the neck. At first, when I saw this, I thought to myself, so it is not intended to be used on the scalp, on the face. What is going to make this razor handle a neck razor? And do you need a neck razor? Or is this just a marketing ploy because capitalism? We're going to see that when I unbox it. My intention is to use it for what is intended. And I think that I have a fairly good test for it because I have a beard that extends below here. So I'm going to have to be able to get up underneath my beard and clean this as well as something that I think I'm going to end up using this razor for, which is for more control on shaving my head. So we'll put it through its paces and I'll let you know, is this worth buying? So first thing I always review is going to be the packaging and like everything that I've seen so far in the King C Gillette series, the packaging is pretty good as far as marketing. I like the marketing colors. There's nothing overly pristine about the box, but let's be realistic. You're getting a razor handle and a two cartridge package. So you can see what comes in there. Nothing exceptional as far as that. It is pretty lightweight, so I doubt I'll be getting any kind of case or anything like that. I do think they're missing an opportunity to sell you something that could be a little bit more high end, that could come with its own travel case or its own special case. Something that makes you feel like you are having a million dollar experience. And I think that's what the King C Gillette is kind of going for. If not, that's the impression I got from them. But so far, I've gotten mixed results if I'm being kind. So I'm going to open it up. And the first thing I open it up to is the razor being lean in the box. I can't blame that on them. That could definitely have happened in shipping. But yeah, handle looks actually pretty good. It's pretty straightforward. It is actually longer than I thought it was going to be. I thought the whole idea was this is going to be like a shorter razor that is intended to give you more control. I'll put it up against my regular Gillette whichever one this is with the four blades. They should be using the same cartridges, which means that's interchangeable. Now, they could have went full capitalistic hellscape on us and made razors that are only proprietary for just this razor handle. But I think besides the fact that that's ridiculous, I think it's also would have been suicide for the series because you want to make sure that they're interchangeable, at least with other Gillette products. We kind of got to give them points for that, but kind of understand that they were kind of forced to do it. But yes, it looks like it's going to be the same razor head. So really the only difference is going to be the handle. As you can see, the handles are fairly close in size. It does have a pretty nice look to it. I do kind of wish they had kept the brass and blue instead of going silver and blue, but there's the insignia on it right there. It does have a nice weight to it. Now I can say just holding it, I haven't used it yet. This finally feels like quality to me. I've tried two other products in the King C series and I haven't been a fan of them so far, but they might have finally gotten me with this. Now this is not a classic style razor in the same as like a safety razor, something like this that I got from Bevel. I plan on reviewing in the future. But what I can say is this does feel a little bit more quality than this. This feels to have a little bit more grip with these rubberized handles here, these rubber textured grips. So we'll see how it performs, but this does feel higher end. I finally feel the King C Gillette aesthetic. The head or the cartridge, as they refer to it, it looks a little different, but it's pretty much the same thing and it releases very much the same way that the other ones release. When it says that it comes with two, they're counting the one that comes on the actual razor. So it actually comes with one extra cartridge, but two cartridges. Again, they're not winning anything on style. There's no extra frills in the packaging. They didn't, you know, put this in a case. I'll show you something that comes with this one that kind of makes this look cheap in my opinion. So depending on the razor handle that you buy or the razor that you buy, you can usually get something like this, like it'll come with five razors, cartridges, which is just the head or the blades. And even this in the Fusion one, 
uh, comes with like a hard plastic and you can reload this if you were to get more of this. This they just literally just kind of threw in a bag. I kind of feel like this is the feel package wise that I get from ordering something that's like a non name brand from overseas. You know when you see a product online or you find something on Amazon. This is kind of packaging that I feel like you would get there. Just like no thrills, just the bare minimum. I feel like they should do a little bit more for it. It does have the edger on the top, which seems to be a staple now. What I'm noticing is this looks like it actually only has two blades and then it's not just an aesthetic choice. It looks like it has like a rubberized piece in the middle here. But we'll find out. We will find out how well that works. For years, people have been making fun of razors and their cartridges and saying that the only innovations that we're getting is more blades. I don't remember if it was Mad TV or one of those sketch comedy shows. They had a razor that had like 18 razors on it. You were grating off your face, basically just shaving with a razor. They actually look like they scaled it back and this looks like it has two razors. So this is going to be interesting to see how this is. But again, remember, this is interchangeable with your other Gillette Fusion head or anything like that. So if you just find that you like the handle, you can just switch it out. But we are going to try it exactly how it comes. I will say that what they did do here that I think not only looks better but still offers a little bit of grip is there is some gripping here to make sure that you can kind of get a, a good handle, good control on it without it being excessively all over it and making it look tacky. So yeah, this is, this is high end and like some design quality went into this. And like I said, a little bit of a good weight. I don't know the exact weight. There's a nice heft to it and you want that. You don't want it to feel like it's something plastic, like a one-time use disposable razor. And you don't want it to feel like you're, you know, shaving your head with a butcher's knife. So you want something in the middle and I feel like that's where you've gotten here. But enough talk, let's get into the shave and I will let you know what I think once we're all done. Now, to not mess with the razor and make sure that we have like a control, I will be using a shaving cream that I am a fan of, which is the shaving gel that came with the Art of Shaving review that I did. You can check for that somewhere else on the channel here, but I am really a fan of the lather I get out of this, and I think it's only fair to judge this razor with all things being even, we will be able to just judge solely the razor and the shave that I get from it. Let's go for it. If you are looking for a more in-depth like tutorial style to shaving, I do cover those as well. I don't claim to be a barber or an expert, but I have been shaving for a while and picked up a couple of tips that work for me that maybe you can add to your arsenal. got my review all set but I am gonna get into something real quick okay so just with this little use here and you can see I haven't even finished doing a good enough job here I do have a little bit of a mixed bag review and it is that again on an aesthetic and even the feel of the razor itself I think they actually nailed it this is a good handle weirdly my biggest critique for this is and I am NOT gonna hold any punches about this is the actual cartridge as they refer to it as, the razor itself. The razor that comes with this, to me, this is my opinion, okay? 
This is trash. The good thing about this handle is the fact that it is interchangeable with the other ones and I'm just gonna switch it off to one of the Fusion ones. This two blade thing, I don't know what exactly is supposed to be the benefit of this, but what it looks like they did was they added just having two blades and then they kind of have just like the rubberized guard. I feel like I'm passing over the same areas and with what I'm used to with the other razors, I'm used to being able to kind of make one pass and not having to make several. This feels like I'm shaving with an old dull razor. Does it feel very smooth? Absolutely. It's a very smooth glide. I don't feel anything rough, nothing itchy, but this is a brand new razor. It should feel smooth. So the razor cartridge that comes with it, absolute trash. I do not recommend. Do I recommend against getting this handle? Probably not because like I said, the benefit to this and the saving grace with this product is the fact that they did make it interchangeable with this. So I'm going to switch over to one of these and use this. And the only thing I can say is I'm not quite sure I understand why this is a neck razor. I feel like this is a really good handle. Do you need a neck razor? or can you just use a really good handle and use it on everything? I feel like this is gonna be versatile enough to be used on everything. I feel like once I switch over to a blade that I like, cartridge, that I'm gonna get a good shave, I have a nice grip on it. I do like the little notch in there, it fits pretty well whether you're left-handed like me or if you are right-handed and more traditional. So the saving grace for this that makes this a buy for me is the handle is still a quality handle, but the cartridge cartridges trash they are trash I don't see the benefit to it I really don't see me going out and buying more of those so I would say that the handle itself the razor as they refer to it is good enough for a purchase cartridge though I am just gonna replace it with one of the fusion Gillettes and be on my way let's just get through the shave and make sure that what I predict to be the only flaw or setback in my review of this is true So I don't feel like there's any need to keep you in suspense here. I'm pretty much finished with here. I'm just going to finish up the last finishing touches on my baldy and it's just as I predicted with a cartridge that I like. This is exceptional. This actually feels better than this and I feel like I have a good weight to it, a nice grip on it. Weirdly, what they did say on the packaging is it offers more control, and I was like, that's gotta be some gimmicky nonsense. I do feel like I have a good control of this. This feels like it's a really good shaving experience. And for someone who has to shave their head, not just a beard, that makes a big difference. So actually, I'm gonna give this exceptional praise as a handle or a razor. And if you end up getting this and you have experience with other Gillette razors, have those cartridges that you're used to available. Try out the ones that come with this, but have those ready to go because the experience is so different right now. I'm gonna try it now on the neck, which is ironic because this is the whole point of this. So I'm gonna go back now with a different cartridge on there and see the difference in the feel. I think I see what they're trying to get at. I 
think I've done enough for my final review. This is definitely worth a purchase. I will be keeping this on the strength of how quality the handle has been. The cartridge, I'm still gonna bash as trash. Um, I did not like the shaving experience that I got on my neck with this. And I did do one pass of it on my hair here and I felt like it didn't do enough. I do understand what they're going for with this is they're trying to mediate some of these, what I'll refer to as these little micro nicks or like um, hot spots that I felt. I felt that a couple of times here. It kind of feels like a scratch. And I felt it a couple of times with the Gillette Fusion blade on there that I didn't feel with this. They're trying to mitigate that so this felt very smooth on the skin. But maybe there should be something in between the four blades and the two blades. Maybe three blades and then the little guard areas. Something, something in between. You want a clean shave. You know, those little micro nicks, I'm not gonna feel this by night. I would suggest they kind of hit the drawing board again and see if they can, like I said, this has four blades, this has two, maybe three and the two rubberized areas to kind of make a kind of happy medium. So a little bit of a mixed bag, high praise for the actual handle, very low marks for this. But after going in with this, I do understand what they were going for. I just feel like they did not get there with the execution, but still worth a purchase, especially because you can change it out to be the razor that you like. Maybe they'll make a cartridge that is specifically for that, that they can specify the cartridge to be a neck razor. But the handle is a buy for me 100%. And this is the first in the series that they have gotten me to say this is worth a purchase. Good job, King C. Gillette. You've gotten a purchase out of me here, but more importantly, wanna know what you guys think. Get your hands on it. Like I said, if you already use Gillette, have your other razors out, be able to change it out and feel for yourself and let me know in the comment section what your experience is with this. Until the next time we're cutting up, stay sharp and I'll see you in the next one.